Hello boys and girls, ladies and gents, welcome to another very interesting tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about satellite sessions, a great tool, great tool uh, for collaborations. Let's start with creating a few tracks. Now uh, I'm, I'm going to be creating piano tracks here, but obviously you can create any sort of tracks, vocal tracks, instruments, whatever. Um, changing the BPM to 70, just, just for the sake of it. And now let's create a couple. I'm going to create three tracks and I'm going to record some piano uh, chords and piano melodies. And then I'm going to now I'm going to create a satellite session. So you go to software instruments, AU instruments, and then you go to Mix Dinky, which is a developer, and choose satellite sessions. There we go. And I'm, um, when we create the track, it will appear like this. Now, just because the track has been created, that doesn't mean that the session has been created. So, you need to open the actual satellite session, and you can do it either from this here, or when you open the mixer, you can open it from this bar here. So, you press that, and then you get three options. Let's create a session. Let's call it George's session. Now, you don't have to choose a key, but I'll, I'll just choose it just for the sake of it. C major, the easiest scale keep it easy for me. It, that could be useful for your collaborators, but as I said, you don't have to actually choose a key. This is what the session looks like when it's empty. Now, I've recorded some piano tracks and now I'm gonna join them into the session. This is how you do it. You go to your plugins, you go to your AU units and choose mixing key. Make sure you name all your tracks so they're easy to distinguish and make sure that the capture audio is on when you're ready to actually transfer your tracks onto the session that you're going to be sharing with your collaborators. Do the same thing for all the separate tracks. Once again, make sure you are happy with your takes and your mixes of uh, um, an EQ and everything of your tracks before you send them over to your collaborators. They need to be finished because they, they're, you, know, you only need to send them your best takes. So once you're ready with that, open up the session again and you'll see all the tracks that you named appropriately. They're now ready to record. Press play. As you can see, they are automatically recorded onto the session and automatically appear with different colors and everything. Now we make sure that the capture audio is off and we can continue working on these tracks or different tracks and uh, send more tracks over to the session as we wish. This is what the session looks like. This is what it sounds like. Now it's time to share the session. I'll share it with myself. You've got different options, uh, VIP option, VIP plus, co-host. They all have different um, authorities anyway. So I'll send it to myself again. I'll invite myself and I'll start a new session and I'll join the original session just as if I'm sending it to a collaborator. So I'll send the invite and here's the little email. There we go. Click on there. There's a little code that you need to copy. Copy the code. There we go, copied, ready to join a session. So I'm going to close this, I'm going to open a completely new logic project. And I will do the same thing, go to software instruments, choose the AU instruments, mixed in key, satellite sessions, create a track. As soon as you create it, open the session and it will ask you the same question as it did the first time around. So open it up and this time choose join session, join the session. It automatically gives you the code, but just just to make sure, just you know, paste it again, join the session, and now it will automatically ask you to change the BPM of your door because the BPM of the original session is 70. So it's not it's not it will not allow you to actually join without changing this first. So now it's changed. It opens the session straight away. As you remember, the session starts from bar five. Let's hear it. There you 
have it. You are in the session using satellite sessions. Now you can create your uh, tracks of your own, do your own recordings, vocals, guitars, drums, whatever. And then when you're ready with your takes and with your EQ, etc., you can always add it to the session and the person on the other side will have them straight away. Now I'll show you how to, if you need to, move any of the audio files from the original session into your actual door. You can do that very easily as well. That's in case you're going to be mixing the, the project or, or, or any other reason. So, you know, create your tracks, open up the session, highlight whichever part of it you want to add to your own project. Just probably good to mention, it works with all the doors all the major doors. So now I've added it to one of my tracks and you can drag it and put it anywhere on the track. Just, you know, you are free to do whatever you want to do with this audio that you've just dragged into your own project, your own door. Mute the um, satellite session so we can hear it on its own. And now if you unmute the satellite session track, you will be able to listen to the session and everything that's in it already. And uh, yeah, obviously we haven't placed this track to the, on the right place so you can hear how it becomes a mighty mess just now. And that's because the other tracks start a little bit later. So there you have it. That's it in a nutshell. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. All right.